Hello. This tutorial is to show you how to use Legal Load for Illinois, which is a Windows 8.1 app that's currently available in the Windows Store. It's also an Apple iPhone, iPad, and iPod app, which will be available in the App Store for Apple within the next week or so. The first thing we need to do is start the application. Next, we need to select a type of truck. As you can see, you can enter a steering axle rating if you'd like. However, Illinois doesn't consider the steering axle rating, so we don't really need to put it in. If you do, it won't affect the analysis. Today, we'll select a four axle straight truck. We're then given an opportunity to select specific criteria for the truck if we'd like. If we leave it at the default setting, then none is selected. Today we'll select a garbage truck with a roll-off container. We close that. Next we need to put in the information for each axle. We do that by clicking on the axle. Again there's some information here that Illinois does not need to do an analysis and they don't need the axle type. They don't care about the number of wheels on an axle or the tire width. They do care about the bridge, however it doesn't apply to the steering axle. And we will put in weights today. You can see that you can put in the driver's or the passenger side separately, which is great if you're using wheel load scales like pad scales or something like that. Or you can put in the total weight of the axle. A nice convenience is that we can put in one weight for the axle. We'll do that here today. Let's put about 58 and then we can divide it with the next how many axles we'd like to to the right and uh, we'll do that with all three of them uh, as you can see if you enter more it'll default to the number of axles that are actually there so then we save the axle move on to the next axle and we'll put in a distance here for the bridge let's make it 17 feet 6 inches Leave everything else the same here. Move on to the next axle. We'll leave all the information the same. The next axle, I'm going to add a couple inches to the bridge. And the reason being is that it's interesting, but Illinois does not consider a triple axle group to be a triple axle group unless there's more than eight feet. So if it has eight feet or less, it's considered to be a tandem. We'll save that. Next thing we can do is we just click the Analyze button or tap it if you're using a surface. And we see the analysis. And we can see that there's no red in here, so this truck is legal. We can look at the information. It gives a breakdown of the information. The special vehicle selected and it's valid for non-interstate highways in Illinois. It gives the information about this specific uh, special vehicle that we selected and overweight violations. If we close that, then we can uh, click on the non-interstate button or tap on it and it changes to interstate and we see what this analysis looks like if the truck is operated on the interstate. We see that there's a problem here. It's in red if we show the information, we get pretty much the same information except uh, the analysis is now valid for interstate highways in Illinois. And a breakdown, we've got a fine uh, of $270 for an overweight condition on bridge 2 to 4. Get some in other information here. We can close that. Anytime we'd like to start on, start over again, uh, we just click on the truck. If this would happen to be a, a semi-tractor, semi-trailer combination, you'd click on the tractor. Okay. So now if we'd like to, we can uh, recall a truck that we saved earlier. Open it up. Let's see what that. And we're given an opportunity to select special criteria again for the truck if we'd like. So. Uh, this being a garbage truck roll-off, that's what we selected last time. If we select, uh, we don't want to select anything, then we just select the top one. And close it, analyze it. 
we see this is a different truck than we had before so we see there's a couple different conditions here and that'll give a breakdown again so and again if we want to start over we just click it and that is how you use legal load for Illinois to find out what you can legally haul in Illinois so we appreciate you taking the time to watch the tutorial if you have any questions or comments uh, please email us at uh, expert systems at expert systems of the black hills dot com thanks again and have a great day bye